Welcome everyone to Tech Solution Z, your go-to channel for simple, practical, and reliable Linux and BSD tutorials. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss our latest guides and installation walkthroughs. In this tutorial, I'll be guiding you through the complete process of installing FreeBSD 15 on a new PC using automatic partitions with ZFS Guided Root. This is the official FreeBSD 15 installer, and we'll walk through each step clearly and safely. On your screen right now, you can see the FreeBSD 15 installer boot screen. To reach the stage, first download the FreeBSD 15 installation ISO, make it bootable using your preferred tool, and boot from the USB drive to access the screen. Now let's boot into the installer. The initial boot may take a few seconds, so please be patient. Before going further, please note an important warning. This process will erase all data on your hard drive. If you're using a brand new PC or an empty disk, you're safe to continue. However, if you have any important data, be sure to back it up before proceeding. Once the installer menu appears, select Install to begin. Again, be cautious. Selecting new partitions will delete all previous data on the disk. Next, select your keyboard layout. You can keep the default key map or choose a preferred layout for your language or region. After that, set a host name for your FreeBSD system. This can be any name you prefer. Move to the installation type screen. Choose distribution sets to proceed with the traditional installation method. You may also notice a new combination option marked as a tech preview, which is optional. For this tutorial, we'll continue with the traditional approach. Now choose the optional system components you wish to install, such as debugging files, libraries, source code, ports, or test files. You can follow the same selection I use or make your own custom choices. Next comes the network configuration stage. You can configure your network manually or through DHCP depending on your setup. In this tutorial, we are installing FreeBSD 15 on a new PC with a blank disk. We'll choose Auto Partitioning and select ZFS Guided Root on ZFS. This is the easiest and most reliable partitioning method for new users. Once you enter the ZFS configuration, review the options carefully. By default, the settings are optimal for most users. The only change I recommend is adjusting the swap size according to your system's memory. Leave the rest as it is and proceed. Select the ZFS configuration style as Stripe with no redundancy, which is ideal for single disk systems. The installer will now begin fetching and installing the required files. While the installation is in progress, let's talk a little about FreeBSD. FreeBSD 15 is a modern, powerful, and secure Unix-like operating system trusted for its stability, scalability, and advanced performance. It's widely used in servers, embedded systems, and even desktops by users who prefer absolute control over their environment. Its ZFS file system, strong network stack, and security features make it a top choice for professionals and developers around the world. Once the installation completes, set your root password. Then continue with time zone, date, and regional settings. Next, you'll be asked to choose services to enable at system startup, such as mouse support or SSH access. You can also enable system hardening options for additional security. Select the options that best fit your setup. Now add a normal user account for everyday use. Follow the on-screen instructions to set up the username, 
password, and access privileges. Once that's done, complete the installation and select Reboot. After rebooting, you'll have a fully installed and functional FreeBSD system ready to use. Congratulations, FreeBSD 15 has been successfully installed. Your system is now running smoothly, stable, and ready for setup or software installation. That's it for today's guide. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, subscribe, and share this video to support the channel and help others explore the world of BSD and open source systems. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial, right here on Tech Solution Z.